everyone, welcome to another episode of Project Control Mastery Training. My name is Shore Gorbani, I'm the founder and director of Project Control Academy, the leading provider of comprehensive online training programs in project controls, where we help you master your knowledge and skills in project control. In this uh, training, I'm going to show you different certifications that are available in cost estimating. There are many uh, cost estimating associations that provide cost estimating certifications. So you might be interested to know which certifications are available for you as a cost estimator to further pursue your knowledge and your uh, certifications to your current employer or your future one. If you are someone uh, working as a cost estimator in projects, uh, I highly encourage you to consider pursuing uh, the certification in cost estimating. The reason is that nowadays many companies and government agencies require those certifications that I'm going to show you, some of those certifications, they need that from you. Some you see that as a job posting, as a job requirement. So nowadays more and more companies see the value of you being certified. That's why it started to show as a job requirement. But besides uh, having it as a job requirement or a bonus on your resume, uh, more benefit that you will gain by being certified is going back to you. And the reason is that most of those certifications, uh, you need to recertify them after a certain period of time, normally three to five years. So your certification expires after three, let's say three year time frame and to recertify you need to prove to that cost estimating association that you have gained the knowledge and you have accumulated some points that qualify you for recertification. By doing that, you will be on a continuous learning and growth in your career as a cost estimator. So that's why really the bonus and the benefit of being certified in cost estimating will more come back to you because you will be up to date on cost estimating tools and techniques. You will be on a continuous learning and growth in your career as a cost estimator. So I highly encourage you to consider pursuing one of those certifications that I'm going to show you if uh, you haven't either considered them and you are already working as a cost estimator. So are you ready to know those available cost estimating uh, certifications that you can pursue? Okay, let's go for it. The first one is a professional cost estimator analyst or PCA. This is offered by International Cost Estimating and Analysis Association. If you are a junior cost estimator, probably this is something that you can consider because it doesn't need that many years of experience. All it needs is only two years of cost estimating experience and a bachelor's degree. If you don't have a bachelor's degree or four-year college degree, then it requires five years of experience uh, in cost estimating or related field. So it is uh, easy to get into and to basically satisf satisfy this requirement to get that certification. So if you're someone new to cost estimating, it doesn't need that much of um, experience for you. So you can consider that and you can pursue that certification. In addition uh, to the experience and education criteria that you need to satisfy, you also need to pass a certification exam. All of those certifications, you need to pass the exam. Once you pass the exam, as I mentioned earlier, you need to recertify yourself after five years in that case. And for doing that, you need 30 points in order to be able to recertify yourself. And 30 points can be 30 um, hours of education that you get in cost estimating by attending seminars, courses, you know, those type of things that you can check in their website. And the website is listed here. So that's the first certification if you are new to cost estimating. The next one is Certified Estimating Professional or CEP offered by Association of Advancement in Cost Engineering or AACE. So let's see what the criteria for this certification is and whether or not you meet those criteria to go for that certification. So the first thing that they need, uh, they need four years of cost estimating experience and a bachelor degree. 
If you don't have a bachelor's degree, then they need eight years of industrial related experience. So now instead of two, you need four years of experience in order to pursue that certification. So if you're an intermediate uh, cost estimator, probably you can consider pursuing that certification. You also need to pass, a, pass an exam, um, which normally has around 120 question, multiple choice question. You also need to write a memo at the end uh, to be able to pass the exam and uh, get certified. And once you are certified, just like all the other certification, you need to uh, recertify yourself, uh, in that case after three years, and all they need is 12 CEUs or continuing um, education units, uh, stands for CEU. So you need to have 12 CEUs in order to be recertified, otherwise your certification will be expired. If you are interested in that certification, make sure that you check AAC website that is listed here. Okay, the third one is Certified Professional Estimator or CPE. This is offered by American Society of Professional Estimators. So let's see what the criteria are for this certification. This one needs more years of experience. So this needs minimum of five years experience as a cost estimator. Also, you need to verify your experience with your employer. So they don't trust your resume or what you put on the application. You need to verify your experience with your employer in the past five years or whatever you put in that application. Not only that, you also need to write a paper, a technical paper on cost estimating and after all of that, then you can sit on an exam and uh, when you pass the exam, then you can be a certified professional estimator. And once you are certified, after three years, you need to recertify and for, for doing that, you need 30 professional development units or PDUs. If this is something that you can pursue, make sure that you check the website for that, which is uh, listed here. Last but not least is a Certified Cost Estimator Analyst or CCEA offered by International Cost Estimating and Analysis Association. For getting that certification, you need a minimum of five years cost experience and a bachelor's degree or eight years of experience if you don't have a four-year college degree. You also need to pass the certification exam and once you pass it um, to recertify, you need to have 30 points uh, of continuing education in order to recertify your certification, but within five years. If you're interested in that certification, make sure you check it out, it's here. So in summary, these are all the certifications that I have found in cost estimating. Uh, so if you are someone who has already been a certified cost estimator and has gone through the process, uh, please um, comment below and tell us uh, which certification you have got and what if you have any advice or if you have anything that you want to share with the community, please, uh, uh, sh share that and if you have any preferences or suggestion when it comes to certifications on cost estimating please uh, make sure that you write your comment down below this video as well. Um, talking about the certifications, although I listed the criteria here, they might change, so make sure that you check uh, the associations that provide those certifications. Right now that we are shooting this video is 2017, so the criteria that I have put together for you are fairly, fairly recent, but those might change tomorrow, so you never know. If you are interested in pursuing those certifications, make sure you check the associations related to that. And you have the most updated information and of course the application and the rest. If you are interested to learn more about um, how to succeed as a cost estimator and in project control general, make sure that you check the course here, Project Control Success Roadmap Training, where we show you different roles that you can play in project controls and how to succeed in each role and how to progress the ladder of success in project control. So check that out in projectcontroltraining.com if you are interested.
With that, if you have any question, please jog them down below. I will make sure that I will go through as many questions as I can and assist you in answering your questions. If you have any comment, if you have gone through those certifications or have any suggestion for other people in the community, again, make sure that you put those comments down below. Uh, with that, uh, until the next uh, Project Control Mastery Training, uh, do your best in everything that you do, my friend, and make a difference. Mm -hmm.